Hi guys, I'm back with another video. Today's video, um, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be doing a little life update um, q and A. I asked you guys on Instagram to um, you know, ask me questions that you guys wanted to know, like a life update. Some of y'all was asking me like basic questions like, what's your favorite color? Last time I checked, that's not a life update question. I was so confused. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to do one of these videos because I don't know, I feel like I really never, like, really did one of these videos. I haven't done one in a long time. Like, a Q&A just period. I haven't done one in a long time. And I feel like Q&As are just such a staple for YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody does Q&As. Q&As have been here for so long. Because people are nosy. You know, people like to be in other people's lives. So. And some of these questions are questions you guys ask me literally on a daily. Like, you guys would DM me these questions. Asking me, like, y'all are freaking nosy. Yeah, so let's just jump right into this video. First question is by T. Rezer. T. Rezer. T. Rezer. I don't know. But um, they ask, in general, how's life going? How's life being in quarantine? To be honest, I'm going to be real honest with you. Like, real honest with you. For me, for me, nothing has really changed. Like... To be honest, nothing has really changed for me. Um, when quarantine like first started, I remember I was first of all I was on a cruise. So I was on a cruise when it was blowing up. I was scared. I was like, oh no, we gonna be quarantined on this cruise. I, I'm trying to go home. I'm trying to go home. But um, yeah, like when I came back, it wasn't really a change. Really, the only change I guess would be obviously having to wear a mask everywhere and stuff. And, uh, you know, the stores being closed. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it wasn't really much of a change for me. I know for a lot of people out there, it was like a major change. Because some of them got, you know, unemployed. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So, thankfully for me, it wasn't much big of a change. Because um, my job is literally YouTube. So, and I wasn't in school. So, I feel like it wasn't big of a change. I was already doing what I normally do. Stay at home. You know what I'm saying? So, I would say it was pretty good. But, like, I don't want to say that because, like, other people, like, it was terrible for them. So, so, I don't know. Next question is by J2Wavy. A, but, um, they asked, when are you going to start driving slash get a car? This question was asked a lot. A lot. Not, and this question is always asked a lot in my DMs. And I am currently working on getting my license. Yeah, so uh, like I said, I am actually currently working on getting my driver's license. Uh, we getting it, child. I know y'all been waiting. Like, child, hurry up and drive. Child, I've been waiting too. <laughs> I've been waiting too. So, no. But uh, yeah, I'm taking my permit, like the written test or whatever. Because in Florida, even though you're 18 or older, you still have to... Um, get a learner's permit so yeah i asked people on Insta my, uh, instagram twitter i was like child what's gonna be on this permit test i ain't trying to fail and a lot of people helped me out thank you shout out to y'all because i was clueless okay but uh yeah basically it's an app that i'm using called uh fl dmv test and basically as you guys can see these are like flashcards and yeah, so the roll signs, you know, and everything, you know, I'm using that to study. But yeah, so I'm currently doing that and when I'm getting a car child, that I do not know. <sighs> First, we gotta get the licenses. I ain't, I don't know, cause child cars, that's money. And I hate spending money, especially big money. <laughs> big money, big bank, big bank, little bank. <laughs> I don't like spending money, so that, I don't know, but getting my license, yeah, we're working on it, sweetie, we're, we're working on it. Another question people have been asking me a lot, uh, who asked this, uh, Brie for Brianna, uh, a lot of people actually asked me this, but it says, when are you moving out? I don't know, stop, this is the most annoying question, actually, I hate when people ask me this question, I really do. Child, I am 18 years old. 18. Oh, I'm about to be 19, but <laughs> one month. But like, there's really no rush for me to move out. Like, people ask me this a lot. Like, child, I don't even have my driver's license, and you're talking about moving out. Uh, 
much y'all what leave me alone i hate when people ask me this question for real because i feel like it's just so nosy like chop chop uh, i'm sorry but like dang i'm only 18 years old ciao um what do i look like moving out that's literally extra stuff for no reason bills i don't have money for all that like i stop asking me this question please please stop asking me this question like literally like you don't have to move out as soon as you're 18 years old like, that's the dumbest thing especially if you're not ready child that is the dumbest thing i have ever heard like people automatically think as soon as you start 18 you're moving out like child no if you're in a situation where you have to or you need to move out then go ahead by means do it because some people wait till they're 18 to move out they wait because they're in a situation where stuff is not going well at home you know what i'm saying and they're trying to get up out of there but me that's not the case child everything's fine handy dandy so yeah i don't know no time soon you know no time soon next question is by uh martine 7376 trying to a lot of numbers but um they asked me are you dating anyone this was a very asked question too and oh, do y'all see me dating somebody <laughs> do y'all be on my twitter <laughs> like do y'all like i don't like this question is very just like um obvious very obvious super obvious no the answer is no if you guys didn't know no not at all and that's okay that's all right that's, that's fine and i'm cool with it you know i don't really care but no the answer is no we single and really not ready to mingle all like that so yeah so next question is asked by uh Imani, Imani, B28. They asked me, how are you feeling lately? Thank you for asking that. I'm straight. You know, I'm just bored, y'all. I'm just super bored. I feel like time is just going by so quick. I am just so freaking bored. I don't be doing nothing at home, child. I be so bored. I have nobody to talk to. Child, when I say I'm bored, I be so bored out of my mind. I be wanting to go to sleep just to get the day over with. But I'm not the type of person to take naps. I, I never take naps and I can't. So I just be like, I don't know what to do. So I'll, nothing's good on Netflix, the YouTube. I just be on TikTok just trying to wait till the days go by, child. And that's not the way to live. I hate living like that. I'm trying to wait till like the next day, even though the next day is gonna be the same process. Mm -mm. yeah so fine all right i just be bored and just ready to something to happen <laughs> you know what i'm saying just something like you know yeah so fine next question now this is actually a really good question i like this question but next question asks why underscore underscore brit underscore underscore um she asks or they don't really know if you're a guy or a girl they ask uh, do you ever feel like you are behind in life have you ever compared your life to others yes the first question yeah behind yeah <laughs> especially with like driving and stuff child people be driving at like 15 and i'm 18 like what i'm just starting to drive but um i don't really care you know what i'm saying i'm just doing everything at my own pace and that's how you should live your life at your own pace and like with uh college and stuff you know i'm not going to technically like a college like university college um yeah so behind sometimes sometimes i feel like that sometimes but sometimes i really don't care i'm doing everything literally at my own pace as i should as you should you know um you don't have to go right out of high school and automatically go to college if you don't want to especially if you don't know what you're doing because you're just gonna waste your money sweetie and that's what i'm not trying to do <laughs> y'all know i hate wasting money that's something i don't especially big money I'll waste a little dollar or two on some candy. I'll waste a dollar or two, not a dollar or two, like $20 on food that's nasty, child. I don't really care. But like when it's come to thousands, hundreds, <laughs> child, I'll be sorry. I am not wasting my money. Then the second part to her question, uh, or his question, uh, have you ever compared your life to others? Uh, sometimes, but not really. Like I don't be sitting there thinking like, 
oh my gosh blah 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 is doing this and i'm not doing that no i don't do that if i see somebody like on instagram or something or twitter no mainly twitter uh because you know twitter everybody shares their life on there i like that but um some might be like oh i just got into law school or something amazing something amazing i'll be like dang I, child the excitement i'll be like go you sis period or go you man bro bruh something go you you know i'll be i'll be geeked for them or somebody like get their like they bought their car or their first apartment or something i'll be like period you know i'll be geeks for them but then again i'll be looking at my life i'll be like dang especially if they're like around my age like 18 19 you know or if they're younger than me i'll be like ah but i don't really think about it like that um yeah i just be geeked for them to be honest because i'll be like go you accomplish a goal okay especially if it's a black woman i'll be like period sis okay so yeah i'll be geeked for them but Sometimes I do it, just sometimes, not all the time though. My next question is asked by That's Renee, and they asked me, uh, why have you felt that it was so important to change your diet? I'm guessing they're talking about like not eating meat anymore. Um, why did I do it in the first place? I don't even know. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, I'm over here. But the reason I stopped eating like meat, like, you know, burger meat, uh, you know, like cow, you know, just red meat i guess you'll say because i will still eat fish you know i'm cool with fish um i'll still eat you know yeah fish yeah anything in the sea i would eat but anything that's uh like chicken or yeah chicken beef and stuff like that i don't eat that um because first of all one um i did it because i wasn't even eating it like that in the first place like i will eat it like here and there but i wouldn't really like eat it eat it the only thing i really eat is like chicken so yeah so i just decided to just cut that out completely i was just like i'll just cut it out and second was for health reasons that's not like i got some bitch out not for like health reasons but um i did it because i feel like eating all that meat really did make me gain a few pounds child. a lot of pounds not a few a lot um, I did lose a lot of weight just by cutting out meat. Like, everything in my diet was literally the same. Like, I still eat junk food and everything. But, um, just by cutting out the meat, I lost at least, uh, I want to say, like, over 10 pounds. Because that was 168. Like, that was my highest. I was 168, actually not too long ago. Probably at the beginning of this year or, like, end of last year. And now I'm 155, 156 or something like that. But yeah, I lost a lot of weight just from cutting that out. So I just decided, and as just days go by, like I'm, I don't even think about me unless I smell it and I start to gag. Like it literally makes me gag, it's disgusting. But yeah, I don't even think about it. All I do is eat my little vegan stuff. Um, even though I'm not vegan, that's the thing, I'm not vegan. I just don't eat red meat. You know, I still eat fish. So you call me a pescatarian, I guess. Yeah. Oh, and I cut out dairy like completely. Even though I wasn't eating dairy in the first place, I like a cheese. I'm not really here for it like that. Uh, milk, y'all know how. <laughs> y'all know how I feel about any kind of milk. I haven't touched that since I was like eight. Y'all know. But like and like uh, eggs and stuff makes me throw. Like it makes me like feel sick. So I just stopped eating that completely. But cheese here and there, like if I if I'm at Chipotle. I'll get a little cheese on there. One time this lady put way too much. I almost threw I had to pick some of that. Only like a little bit of cheese. Like a little bit of amount. But uh, yeah, so I cut dairy out. So, so overall reason, I just did it because I wanted to. Like I didn't really have a like straightforward reason. Like I didn't have a reason like how some people go vegetarian because of the animals. That wasn't really my reason for it because yeah, that wasn't my reason. And... I don't shame for nobody for eating meat. Like, if you wanna go eat meat, go ahead. I really don't care. If you don't wanna eat meat, then don't eat meat. I don't care, that's you. Yeah, so I just did it because I wanted to and I just felt like it. And I just wanted to challenge myself because I did it before, but I only lasted five months. And I think I'm on, I don't even know where, I, I think I'm on my fourth month, fifth, I don't even know where I'm at, sweetie, but I'm just trying to get like to a year and then we just go do it from there, you know? So. But if I happen to be in California, 
and it's an in and out near by. <laughs> I think I'll have to um, try it. <laughs> My ATJD asked me, how's your physical health? I don't know. I don't work out, which is terrible. Y'all, I don't like working out. I hate feeling disgusted or like, I hate feeling like tired. I, I don't know, I just hate feeling like that. But I don't know, child. It's fine, I guess. I mean, I'm not sick, I'm healthy. You know, I'm fine. Be fine over here, baby, okay? For the long and awaited question people have been asking me since I graduated from high school is college, obviously. Now, I said in the previous question that I'm not going to like a university college like I, I i don't want to i mean i don't want to because that's a big bank and we don't have a big bank over here like that okay and i don't feel like being in debt <laughs> and plus everything that i uh see like majors and stuff not really interested in but um yeah i do want to go in the um skincare field i guess you gonna i don't know i want to be an esthetician <laughs> cut to the chases esthetician so obviously i have to go to school for that uh yeah and i have to go to a um technical school if you guys don't like a trade school you know and that's really cheap it's a really good option and uh yeah so that's the answer i'm trying to see if i need to say anything else because <laughs> i'd be forgetting to say stuff sometimes they ask me what is keeping me sane and happy who said i was happy <laughs> so I know I'm just fine. But what's keeping me sane is freaking I'm not even I'm not even go front TikTok. <sighs> like TikTok. I don't know. I love TikTok. I just love going out there, seeing other people's lives, seeing other people living their lives, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, and it's just funny. You know, I don't know, I just love TikTok. I'll be on there so much. Yeah, so I guess TikTok is keeping me sane and happy. You know, also you guys, cause y'all be DMing me sometimes. I'll be having nobody to talk to. I'll be like, hey, what's popping? You know, if you DM me, most likely I will talk to you. Like literally, I I answer my DMs all the time. So, and if I haven't answered yours yet, I just didn't see it. So, yeah. So DM me on Instagram. It'll be in the link down below in the link in the description box down below. So, all right, y'all. It's time to wrap this baby up. Y'all probably bored. You know, I don't have, I, I ran out of questions. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you followed my uh, Instagram, you know. I don't really be on Snapchat like that. I'm sorry, y'all. Uh, um, yeah, but I be on Twitter literally all the, ooh. But I, but I be on Twitter literally all the time. Instagram all the time, uh, TikTok all the time. So y'all can go follow those if you want to like um, chat with me. Chat with me. That sounded really, really weird. If you guys want to DM me and stuff like that, then um, you can do that. Um, yeah, so just follow those. Um, <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching. Toodles.